God, would I love to have that. I feel good this morning. First time I felt good all week. So I'm going for a walk and I'm taking you with me. I have a few things that I want to talk about today. This is what I'd love to see here. This is this guy that parks his car out here in the street. His horn honks all night long and somebody sideswiped him. Got exactly what he deserved, in my opinion. I know that sounds cruel, but that guy is annoying with his alarm system. Sometimes his horn honks all night long. Nobody will do anything about it. Why you know this? Taking a little walk down the street here. This is the street that you're seeing right in front of me. It's a relatively safe neighborhood, but right down the corner here is where the couple got robbed a couple weeks ago at midnight. Somebody took the lady's purse and ran off with it. They finally found it down on the beach. The police did, with all of the contents gone. So I got my pepper spray. I keep it with me when I'm walking down this street. As soon as I get down to the beach, I'll put it in my pocket. There's a couple things I want to talk about this morning. One of them is I want to tell you a little short story about things, about something. There's an expat that came here last year, a female. I'm not going to mention her name. She's just a living proof about how some people can be when they come here. This lady came here from the States, fairly young, uh, not to her 60s just yet. She came here with a lot of questions and uncertainty about how to do things and so forth. Lots of people reached out and helped her. I was one of those. I helped her with IT related issues, helping her get her Wi-Fi working, cell phone connected, WhatsApp working and all that kind of stuff. She befriended a lot of people here. And at the same time, she, she seemed to have a run in with a lot of these people too. I had to wait for that truck to get by. So, this, this, this lady moved into an apartment almost across the street from me. And she was neighbors to another couple, elderly couple that's been here for several years. And she had a major falling out with them over issues related to her coming and going and uh, you know, I don't, I don't really want to get into details about it because it's really kind of embarrassing to tell you the truth. So anyway, she got, I tried to get her to make the peace with these people and not have this feud going all the time. And because of that, she decided that I wasn't on her side. And so she moved and went about her way. A while after that, I got a uh, text message I got a text message from somebody that that I thought was a friend of mine well and they are they still are but this girl apologized to me for unfriending me on Facebook and blocking me and so I asked my daughter said I didn't know that she'd even blocked me or unfriended me and so she explained she sent me a message and said that she'd had a run-in with this mutual acquaintance of ours and that she had some, some misinformation when it is and that and then she she realized later that 
things weren't really quite what she thought. So she reached out to me and apologized. And I told her it's okay. It's, I, I don't, I understand. And I asked her what was, what was said. Turns out that this, this girl that, that had the falling out with me and so many other people around here is telling people that I'm a pervert. You got to be careful around me because I'm a pervert and I like underage prostitution. Nothing could be further from the truth. I don't like prostitution, period. So, I thought, well, that's just great, you know. It's, it's this person is going around the expat community telling people that I'm an underage prostitute uh, solicitor. <laughs> so, I asked her if she could give me any kind of uh, proof, you know, that she said this. She said that she actually has some text message that she could give me. But they didn't really want to get involved because they're trying to get their visa and they didn't want to have any trouble. So I can't get any testimony or anything from her. I talked to an attorney about it. And the attorney said if I could get testimony, eyewitness, any kind of witness, that I could I could probably take her take it to the DA and get a case started and you know get her basically out of here. Oh look at the cute little puppy coming here. All right, cute little puppy. Can I pick your puppy? Bueno Diaz, oh you little baby. <laughs> Oh, wait a this. So anyway, maybe that explains a few things. I don't know. But I think I'll just let it go. I'm not going to worry about it. But that's a good example. You can't necessarily trust everybody that you meet here. Uh, especially expats. I hate to say that, I'm sorry to say that to my fellow expats. I have a lot of expat friends here. I love them with my heart and soul. But there are some here that are trouble. I don't care, they're, they're probably trouble back home in the States. They were probably trouble before they came here. Another thing that I want to talk about this morning, I've mentioned when I talk about healthcare, I talk about how affordable healthcare is here. And I talk about how, you know, I could get a doctor to come to my apartment, Dr. Garcia, only cost me $60. In fairness to the whole healthcare community here, I have to tell you, that uh, $60 may not be reasonable for everybody, you know. $60, you know, there are doctors that you can go to here that are only uh, 40 bucks. Go to their office and get the same services that you would get from a doctor that would come to your, your residence. So, I mean, I, what brought this up is I have a neighbor that I met a while back that, you know, when I told him about uh, Dr. Garcia and how she only costs $60, he just like, what the heck are you doing? Why are you paying that much money? You can go to a doctor here for $40. And so he's right, you can, you can go to the doctor. It's your choice. You definitely have that choice. You don't have to pay for a doctor to come to you. You will save money if you go. And I also discovered another thing this week about healthcare here is that you have a lot of choices to make. When somebody tells you that it costs you $90 for a blood test, you can just politely tell them that you're gonna go 
look around and see if you can find a better price somewhere. There's more than one lab in town. So don't be hesitant about uh, shopping around for better prices. Healthcare can be more than affordable here, but you have to speak up. There are also, uh, if you're over 65, you're entitled to some discount. So, but not everybody that takes your credit card or, or your money will just automatically offer you that discount. You have to speak up. So, that's what I had to say about that. This looks like the exercise crew coming down to either they've already done their dance or they're getting ready to go to it. Looks like everybody got sweaty shirts on. They have a couple of gatherings every morning down here. People come down here and dance. Oh, gracias. I'm down at the end of the plaza. I'll turn around and you can see there's Marcelo Lago, the mall's over there. Morning exercise. God, I wish I could do this. I'd have to be at the very back. No, 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 no. Yo quiero, yo, yo, no, no la voy a corregir a la profe, pero sí voy a decir algo que no todo, no es para todo. Didn't understand a word he said. Pero cuando usted come lo que usted quiera, en eso, si se comió 500 calorías, si usted tiene que hacer más tarde. Bunch of pretty ladies. So you too can do this when you come here. I don't know who's telling who. <laughs> I should do that. I should try this sometime. Not today though. I'm an extremely busy man. This is the boardwalk where I counted all the screws. So there's like a gazillion screws in this damn thing. It took me forever. I don't know if you can see the flag down there. It's red flag day today, so that just means that uh, no swimming in the water. There will be people all in that water today. Hell, listen. I would walk out there. Oh, what the hell? I got time. Let's go for a walk on the boardwalk. I call this the boardwalk because it's boards. It's a walkway. Somebody, when I first started my channel, tried to tell me this is called Malacon. I thought the Malacon was the street out here that ran up and down the coastline. That, I guess I'm wrong about that. Wait a this. Wait a this. Oh, there's a screw missing. Now I'm going to have to come back and count these all over again. This building. I guess this guy's going to walk right into me. Buenos okay. dias. Get off your damn phone. See, even in Ecuador, people can't seem to go from point A to point B without having a damn phone stuck in their face. Put the damn phones down, folks. What the hell? I'll never forget when I went to New York City. So I'm wondering anybody can, I, I don't see how people are just not colliding all over each other on the sidewalk. If I was an artist, I'd draw a cartoon. 
nothing but people piled up on the sidewalks. Buenos dias. Beautiful dog. Oh my god, I love a beautiful purebred German Shepherd. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. So this is the, I guess it's the surf sack. Kind of a neat building. I'm taking a couple of pictures of it. A lot of people say that this is not a beautiful beach. I don't know what the hell they're talking about. I mean, it's not the white sandy beaches of the Car Caribbean or the Caribbean, whatever you call it. But still, it's a nice beach. Look at all the people walking. People come out here and surf, swim. The water is clean. It's not very cold. You don't need wetsuits to get out in it. I don't get in it because I'm a wuss. Something will bite me. I'm afraid of big fish. Looking toward the mall area there. I don't know how much you can see. I haven't used this GoPro in a while. I'm on wide angle lens, so. Uh, I think I see my friend, uh, Kristen, walking her dog. Kristen, is that you? No hat. Her little pooch. Kristen! Kristen! <laughs> There's my friend Kristen coming over here. Got her pooch with her. She's going to be live on YouTube. Got her little pooch with her. <laughs> Me? Ride a bike? <laughs> Watch your language because you're on YouTube live. What's that? Watch your language because you're on YouTube right now. Oh. Come on. Don't be shy. Look at this little puppy. What? Is Going this up. a... What is this? Go on, a, baby. Go on in. Go on inside. Yeah. Come, Come on, on, baby. You can do hey, it. Hey, what is going on? Are you out here walking on the beach? Oh, don't go She's away. Okay. She's okay. Okay. What's he doing? Run away, dog. Oh, she mine's well. <laughs> <laughs> go out there and take a big old dump out in the sand <laughs> she did <laughs> i bet you're surprised that i saw you see i can see the flag on the moon most people recognize the dog well this is the first time i've seen, seen the dog. no i hadn't seen the dog but i recognize you way down there oh how funny yeah gracie come here come say hi she's a dog. cutie she come here baby cutie. come here baby girl <laughs> How old is she? Is she, she a pup? Day. She thinks she is. Oh. She's six years old. Oh my god. Grace, come here. Come here, right here. What kind of drugs is she on? <laughs> no, she's excited. This is the first yeah. time she's been off her leash. Oh really? Oh well, my god. Not not the first time ever at home. But at the park. She, yeah. She goes for food. So yeah. if I let her off, she's gonna search everything for food. Well, Take her out there in the ocean. I'm sure there's a fish or two out there. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> I hope she doesn't. She's not crazy about water. Oh. Come people, here, people, people, dogs run all over the place here. Come they, on, come she's here. She's not going to go away. You're a good girl. Come here. Come see Grandma. Come here. So how's life treating you here so far? Good. You're doing all Very right? Good. Very good. We are enjoying it tremendously. I've been sick for a few days. I'm just now feeling good. And... 
Been to the doctor. You, run, you went on Saturday to yeah, the doctor. Yeah, I know. I mean, then it's like this week. Buenos dias. Oh, yeah. Buenos dias. But it's like this week, yesterday, before yesterday, I went to a clinic. I couldn't even hardly breathe. So I got Stella to come pick me up, and she took me over there. And we did chest x-ray, but then we didn't get the results back yesterday, so I don't know what the Our results allergies? are. I, it, it's got to be something. Something is just tearing me up you now. Wow. I'm allergic to something. Tracy, uh, Tracy, come back here. She's just gonna follow what her she wants to she's going after come this here, mouth. Come on. Good girl. Make me nervous. Girl. I wish she'd hang on to her. It's, it's scaring me. She's gonna run off. She won't run off. Somebody will steal her. That, that's a possibility. Yeah. But she won't run off. Yeah. Sorry, baby. She does like her freedom. Yeah. She's Sorry. A very opinionated dog. Hi dear. Of course that's a woman. That's that because I'm a girl and I can be opinionated and say what I want. And you will she like loves it. Men. You will like it. <laughs> <laughs> she's cute. See, that's the kind of dog I'd like to have. She's she's small, a good lap dog, you know. She is the cuddliest thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So so we're recording, okay? So <laughs> okay. tell everybody what you think about being here. You've been here for how many weeks now? Three. Three weeks. Three weeks yesterday. You came from California. California. Yep. And of course, if it wasn't for me, you wouldn't be here because I guided you all the way. And I know you like <laughs> to think that. You did guide me a lot. That is for sure. Yeah. Of course, you didn't solve my uh, dilemmas of nervousness. No, I know. I can't do that. No, I, I had to figure out a way. I, I, I don't know if you saw the video I did, my answer to Don, you know. I did, I did, yes. That guy, everybody goes through the same emotions, you know. I guess, but when you're going through it, you don't know that everybody else goes through it. I don't it. know. And yeah. when you're not used to that kind of stress. Yeah. And it's a whole new adventure. Sure. Everything changes. Yep. And, you, and there's so much uncertainty when you're here too, when you first start here. I was thinking about this this morning because you think that you go through that honeymoon period and you think, Oh my God, this is so great. And then all of a sudden you're kind of off the honeymoon and then you kind of wake up and say, what the hell am I doing here? But then all of a sudden contentment just starts rolling in. I, I wake up Hola. a lot. Buenos dias. I wake up a lot and feel grateful that I'm here. You know? And, I, and I, I, I wake up and I feel like, well, I think this is going to be okay. <laughs> you know, this is probably going to work out. It's when been a it's year okay. and two months for yeah. me yeah. and I think it's going to be okay, you know. So, I was just talking to my family here a minute ago. A lot of people think they're going to come here and it's going to be all nice and sunny and everything. But, you know, it's not quite what a lot of people think, you know, because it's, it's the time of the year. I understand you know? that. But it's not raining. We have this at home, though. The fog comes in yeah. and sometimes it can spend the whole day there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the marine layer rolling the marine in. marine layer yeah. comes in and oftentimes it'll come in in the morning and it'll be so overcast yeah until about noon or one o'clock and then the sun comes yeah out. that's the way it was when i lived in san diego i thought oh lord and that, the marine layer would roll in the morning and then would roll in at in four o'clock in the afternoon when i'm and getting then, off and work and wanting to go for a walk yeah yeah and i don't like that no i don't either well that's because you're so skinny we gotta fatten you up <laughs> we need to get some beef into you you know <laughs> <laughs> so, some I, beans. I'm, and I'm skinny because I you know, do. started doing intermittent fasting last yeah. summer. Yeah. 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 That's got to be painful. No, it wasn't. Can you fast and still drink beer? <laughs> no, the intermittent try fasting that. <laughs> is that you, you leave a certain time of day that you don't eat. So you eat dinner and then you don't eat anything until maybe 11 o'clock or 12 o'clock the next day. Okay, so what happened to all those other times that you're not eating? Isn't that fasting? Well, you can eat within that time frame. Okay. Say from 12 to 7 o'clock at night. You can yeah. eat anything you want. Yeah. But the, the idea is to not have food in your system from 7 o'clock at night until the next day. Because then your system cleans out. Okay. We, as, as people from the United States, began snacking so much that... People snack before they go to bed, they get up in the morning, they start eating. Yeah. And so the only fasting that we did was eight hours worth of sleeping. Yeah. And our yeah. body needs more than that to process and get rid of waste. Yeah. So I lost 30 pounds. 
<laughs> this is a lot. That's it was a, a lot. lot. It was a lot more than I expected to lose. Yeah. Well, so no beer and wine. You can have During beer the fast? And wine. You, okay. Well, then I would be okay. You can eat anything you want between 12 and 7. Oh. 12, 12 noon and 7. And it's, I'm it's, gonna try that. It's hard at first to w wake up in the morning. You can have coffee, you can have tea, you can't have milk in your mm -hmm. coffee or anything like that. Yeah, yeah. And and you, yeah. Because anything that triggers your digestion is what you don't want. Right. So think about it. Plan like, is. Yeah. So anyway, it, it worked for me. It worked really good. Good, good. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna head up to breakfast. Yeah. Fast later. Is it nine o'clock already? <laughs> no, not yet. But by the time I get up there, it'll be time. By the time I get up there and sit, I, I thought she was going to attack that woman and tear oh, her she... legs off. Yeah, you right. see that? <laughs> yeah. What a close call. This dog you almost had one there. <laughs> Great. What's her name? Gracie. Gracie. Yeah. You almost had one. She looks like such a young puppy. You're oh. so cute. You're so cute, aren't you? You love me, don't you? I can tell. No, <laughs> oh, I love my old dog. If you ever have to go anywhere and you need somebody to dog sit for, you can bring her over to well, my you place. You told me that. I think that's wonderful. Yeah. I will do she that. She would get along with me just fine. I'm going to have to go to Guayaquil, you know, yeah. sometime in the next couple months. Yeah, yeah. That'll be a day trip, you know. I know, I know. So. But to get my stuff. you don't need to be to worried that. about that, you know. You don't need to worry about her. You, you know, you can bring her over to me and. Then you can get one and take you up to Waikil and That's get your I'm business taken care of. Yeah. Yes, yes. I saw him yesterday in the restaurant with another couple that were coming in. So, another couple, another subscriber. Oh, great. Uh, yeah, great. I'm so happy to see that. everybody around here. You're going to be as popular as Stella. Getting to be, <laughs> nobody will be as popular as her. If you come out here about 6.30 in the morning and walk down here, you'll run into her. Well, there's people in my apartment that walk with her. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they go. She goes from where she lives, way, way over there. See that tall white building there? I do. See, it's over in that area. She goes from there, all the way down to Las Olas, right? And then back. Yes. You know. Yes. And I'm not sure how she gets from there to here. I think she comes down the, the Malcon here and then comes in. That white building was my second Airbnb hellhole that I stayed in when I came to Ecuador. That building, that I was on the top was floor. It of that building. That you there? Oh my what God! Was it so was bad? right on the street, and it, and then plus, then we had no drinking water. We didn't have coffee. We didn't have anything. There were three of us and one set of towels. It was everything as not as advertised, you know. Yeah, yeah. So that's sad. I'm gonna walk over there and look at that motorcycle. There's <laughs> boy, that's the are. second one I've seen this morning that looks like would be a good fit for me, you know. And uh, I, there's one in my apartment building, a big KTM. Yeah, I got to find out who owns that thing because I want to take a look at it. There anyway, go. it's good to see you. you too. So you, you guys too. be careful. Gracie. All right. Say goodbye. What's? Bye, Gracie. Say goodbye. Okay. There you later. go. Okay. Ciao. Okay. Ciao. Ciao. All right. See you later. Take care, Doc. All right. Let's go and look at this motorcycle. It's a motorcycle. Oh, that would be perfect for me. I'd love that. I'd have so much fun on that thing. It's a 250 cc. I don't think you have to have a driver's license for that. I should look into that. Okay. So that was Kristen, one of our subscribers, part of our family there, folks. Super nice lady. Three weeks here. Came from California. Living the dream. Having a good time. So I'm heading back to the mall now to go get breakfast. And that will probably conclude this video. I am working on getting the interview with Stella. I'm making a second major effort to get that done. I sat down last night and started planning out. I got to figure out a way to be able to interview her and make her feel comfortable with being in front of the camera and dealing with her uh, English language, which is perfect, but she's worried about it. And we'll just have to try to make something fun out of it. So. Excuse me. I will talk to you folks later. Have a great day. And I'll see you on the next one. Ciao, ciao.
Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Thank you. YouTube. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Amazing. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. Ahí viene la bamba, la bamba, la bamba. La bamba. La yeah. Bamba. Oh yeah. La bamba. <laughs> Here comes the rest of the band. Hello. Buenos dias. Buen dia. Oh. We're recording on YouTube. Ah yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, I have to, I have to go eat. Okay. Sí, okay. Muchas gracias. Thank right? you very much. All right. Gracias. Buen dia. Buen dia. Gracias. Gracias. Right. No. <laughs> oh man, how awesome! I gave him twenty bucks to split. You know, that'll make their day. Probably people are gonna say, "But now you just did a video about beggars." Well, these are not beggars. These are entertainers making a living to feed their family. And made me happy. <laughs> <laughs>